everybody. It's Glenda with Fraylins and Friends Crafts Plus. And tonight we're going to finish the last painting from the Joseph collection. Where Joseph, the one that got the coat of many colors from his father Jacob. They are now all in Egypt. And Joseph has now revealed himself and Jacob, his father, finally knows that the brothers lied and that Joseph is alive. Not only alive, he's ruling over, he's second in command only to the Pharaoh in Egypt at this point. As last night I put all of this on there. This is the Delta and I've covered it, I've done a whitewash on it because I wanted it to look like a faded you know, kind of a faded in the background, almost like a watermark. But the delta for the Nile River is right here, and it's feeding into the Mediterranean. The Nile runs north. So this here is important because up here at the delta, that's what they call it. It's in Egypt, but it's called the land of Goshen. And it's... A lot of nice green grass. This is where the Pharaoh tells Jacob, Jacob and them that they can settle. And that is what tonight's about. This is the Pharaoh and Jacob tells the Pharaoh, that he is advanced in age, he's well over a hundred, but he doesn't feel like he will live as long as his predecessors. And he tells them that they do raise sheep. Abraham is, and Abraham tells him that he's, his age, it's advanced, He's like a hundred and some years old, but he feels like he's much younger than his predecessors or his ancestors who lived to a much older age. And he thinks this is because of what he did to his brother or something. Anyway, he, this is when Okay, he tells the Pharaoh his age, and then the Pharaoh asks what they do, what the Hebrew people do, because that's what they are. And he said they were shepherds, because they, they raised sheep, they were shepherds. I'm sorry, my, <laughs> my um, card ran out of room. I didn't realize it, and I had to go and and run that off, <laughs> had to go run it onto the computer so I could reformat, so that's why the split there. But I may put a few more in here. Okay, ah, my mouse is dry, hold on. The Pharaoh is giving them the land of Goshen. It's part of Egypt, but he says the Egyptians don't really tolerate sheep. They're kind of uh, considered, they consider the Hebrew below them. They raise cattle and corn and you know, the Hebrews are shepherds. So what he tells them is he's going to give them the best grazing land, which is where that arrow is. That is the land of Goshen. It is a part of Egypt, but it's not very many. I mean, it's probably kind of swampish because it is the river delta that flows into the Mediterranean. So it's got a lot of these little streams. So it might be a little too marshy for cattle. But 
there's enough grassland there for their sheep. So this is what they are discussing. And so then they will get to settle in that land of Goshen. First off, as far as what we're finishing off here, the Hebrew people or Israelites, because they are the descendants of Jacob, who was, his name was changed to Israel. So Israelites are the descendants of Israel. And we need to remember the reason they went to Egypt in the first place was to survive. They had not given up their place in the land that God promised to their nation. Abraham had lived there. Isaac probably still lives there with his family or may have passed. But um, Esau definitely still lives in that area. So it's not completely abandoned by Hebrew people because Isaac was supposed to be the the one from which the nation would be born. And I'm just putting in some sheep there that those little, I don't know, it's hard to see the white, but the little brown faces, and later I make a mistake almost of, getting, of taking those little brown faces off because I think I've dropped, dribbled some brown paint. <laughs> But then I realized, no, 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 that's their faces. So this is pretty much the end of that story. Um, we all know about the Exodus. That was a different Pharaoh. All, this Pharaoh, he, you know, he kept them in their place. Let's put it that way. Joseph, Joseph is an exception because he interpreted the Pharaoh's dreams and saved them from starvation during the famine years. Now, remember, the Israelites went there to survive. So they didn't expect to be slaves when they went there. I love you. I hope all of you are well. Please smile and wave at somebody and just be well thank you